Yeah, so this is a little talk in the Excellence Requires Truth series. This, uh, today's topic is education, or more precisely, elite education. Now that we are coming closer to real knowledge, now that we are coming closer to understand the human program, then of course one of the best tools in the box, one of the best windows through which we have to see and look and do our research is neuroscience, of course. And this is also why Stanford, Stanford University in America and the School of Medicine in Stanford has been on the leading edge for a long time simply because they have a neuroscience lab, they, they are world leaders in this field. So this is to say that if you're interested in the human being, if you're interested in the human program, if you're interested in the brain, in the nervous system, in electric, um, uh, biochemical uh, relationships and uh, phenomena in your body, please go and study that. And that is free, available online, very easily presented by one of the best teachers that we have available in neuroscience these days, and that is Andrew Huberman. Uh, Andrew Huberman at Stanford has a podcast, uh, and he talks about any topic that relates to the brain and the nervous system and neuroscience as we know it. So go to the Huberman lab, uh, find Andrew Huberman on YouTube, very easy, and it's a good presentation of the different aspects, various aspects of neuroscience. Now we, now we come to the elite part of the elite education uh, aspect of this little talk, because uh, Andrew Huberman and his fellow scientists or scientists all around the world, they uh, present findings, you know, they present findings. And these findings are that which we should trust and learn from. But the way that Andrew Huberman presents them is also an interpretation. This is what we have to understand. And we, if we really want elite education, we have to understand how is this, through which paradigm is it that Andrew Huberman is making his interpretations without his own knowing. It's just bec it happens by itself automatically by the interpretation machine inside his own brain. He hasn't seen that. He doesn't see his own interpretation machine and he doesn't see his own projection machine, which I have described in my talks. Nearly no scientist does that, and this is also why Roger Penrose, Stephen Hawking, uh, and a lot of these scientists uh, not only are wrong and blind when it comes to many topics like understanding the truth of space, the nature of space, for instance, but it also makes it easy to understand why they make so many silly mistakes, simply because they cannot see their own interpretation machine. And now we are talking elite education. If you want to understand science, you should understand what is it that constitutes the interpretation machine of Roger Penrose. When you understand that, then you have a scientific mind. Then you are educated in an elite way. You are above MIT. You're above Harvard. You're above Stanford. You're at the best of the best. What is it that constitutes the interpretation machine, the paradigm through which these idiots or professors or scientists or Nobel Prize winners do their research. Through which interpretation machine? Through which lens? What is it that constitutes the interpretation machine? What is it that constitutes the different parts of the engine, the invisible engine that constitutes the interpretation machine in the brain? And if you're a serious scientist or if you're serious about understanding things, then you have to go to the best of the best. And then you should, of course, go to Andrew Huberman, but you should know that this is also interpretation. 50% of what he says is, you could say, is uh, just referring to findings, scientific findings, empirical data scientific findings through lab experiments. But even those are colored by interpretation because they are colored, they are uh, performed through 
a lens and through a strategy, through a strategy that is colored also by interpretation. This is something that we cannot help. It's like this in any way, whether we want it or not. But this is science and this is elite education. So if you want to be better and more clever than the Stanford idiot professors and the MIT moron uh, professors, then you have to understand the interpretation machine. And you have to understand how scientists come to their conclusions. You have to understand which paradigm is it that controls your interpretation machine. What procedure are you going through epistemologically uh, when you go from inter your interpretation machine to your projection machine? What is it uh, epistemologically uh, through the knowledge of knowledge, through the analysis and discipline of knowledge of knowledge in itself? Which steps do you take to check and double check and to be transparent about your interpretational approach? Right? Because this is very important. Even a, even a finding, a scientific finding in a lab, is also an interpretation, simply because the measurement, the instrument of measurement, will produce the result. And the instrument of measurement is not only the microscope and the different tools in the lab, it is the human program in itself. So when we measure something, we measure through the human program. And this means that anything that we can see is colored by the human program and colored by the unseen invisible forces of our interpretation machine. This is very, very important to understand. Actually, the most important to understand. And you can, as a scientist or as an elite uh, educator or as a person who has gotten elite education, you can put a poster on the wall which says, only the false can be known. Only the false can be known. And this is the truth because what we know is seen and measured, produced by the human program. It's a result that is produced by the human program. So only the false can be known. And if you're very lucky, you can transcend the false and say, find something true or say something true simply because of this and that your approach is so so thought through that you're actually able to hit the bullseye now and again you know and it may is not as difficult as it sounds but it requires a very sober mind and you don't have we don't have many sober minds in science at least none among the famous ones the famous scientists and the tabloid scientists the the scientists that are famous on YouTube, which are tabloid scientists, even if they teach in MIT or wherever they teach, they are usually a tabloid scientist, you know. They present a Christmas calendar of science to the public so that they can become popular and work for the common good. But actually what they want is usually to, to make a case for themselves, you know. But anyway, never mind about that. But this is a word about, about el elite education. If you're really interested in being at the best of the best, and if you're interested in telling bullshit from serious research, then you need an attitude that I'm presenting in this talk. Only the false can be known, and maybe not. Maybe also the truth can be known, of course, but Whatever we measure, we measure it through a human program that will change the phenomena that we perceive and that we conclude as results of our research. So it's an endless game and even if Huberman and Penrose and <laughs> Hawking and other people are clever about this and that, please remember that there are tons of interpretational baggage behind the conclusions. The findings are super important and the Huberman lab uh, in, at Stanford is the best of the best that we can get now, it's specially freely available on YouTube, so I just congratulate it and it's wonderful. But please remember, if you're really into science or elite education, please remember about, uh, about 
the interpretation machine in the brain because that is producing the results that we believe in and they these results are simply just sometimes delusions they are uh, not true and they are just uh, mind products uh, created by interpretation machines you know and through the strategy through which we conduct our research and science so this is really 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 very important the best of luck and con congratulations to the scientists that are good but we also hope and pray that these scientists will educate themselves about the interpretation machine which of course most of them has <laughs> but they could do it even more and we should have a public uh, dialogue about the implications of the interpretation machine and of the projection machine inside the human program and we should be much more clever to criticize famous scientists and accepted paradigms uh, Einstein Penrose uh, anyone who has presented real stuff or real bullshit <laughs> we don't know from an elite education point of view we don't know but uh, we know some something you know about it but let's not take it too seriously because we don't know if it is true only the false can be known and even if we have good luck to say that well even truth also truth can be known or reality reality can be exposed reality can be understood reality can be deciphered reality can be presented as uh, a cognitive result that actually mirrors uh, the nature of reality even if we can do that we still need to know about the human program through which we operate, through which we live, through which we interpret and project and make our own conclusions. So this was a little talk about elite education. Thank you.